This is gonna be phase three, day one and three workout. With regard to this workout, you're gonna perform it four days per week and you're gonna alternate it with the day two and four workout. For this one right over here, you wanna make sure that you're giving yourself a little bit of rest in between. So what you could do is something like a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or something like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday type of a split. And then... Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team U4 Work, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an exercise routine to help you lose fat, build muscle, and increase strength, and it's going to be Charles Poliquin's German Body Comp Program. This right over here is month three of the six month program. And if you ended up missing we month one, I can include a link right up over here that way you guys could follow along in order. I've made a few minor modifications to the actual workout. And for today, before we get on with the breakdown, a couple of disclaimers. Number one, you need to make sure that your diet is on point because you can't make optimal results with a suboptimal diet. If you need help with your diet, you could either check out this video right up over here, or you could check out the nutrition links in the description down below. And then the second thing worth noting is if you want to maximize strength and hypertrophy gains, you need to make sure that you're following progressive overload. And if you're not sure how to implement progressive overload, then check out this link right up over here. And now that we got that out of the way, we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine. But first, real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help out with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the content. And now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine. As stated, this is going to be month three. So this is going to be phase three, day one and three workout. With regard to this workout, you're going to perform it four days per week and you're going to alternate it with the day two and four workout for this one right over here you want to make sure that you're giving yourself a little bit of rest in between so what you could do is something like a monday tuesday thursday friday or something like a tuesday wednesday friday saturday type of a split and then this is intended for intermediates you're going to perform it for four weeks and this workout right over here it's pretty much going to be performed identically from week to week the only thing that's going to change is the number of sets and also the rest period with regard to the sets in weeks one two three and four you are going to be performing two sets three sets four sets and then dropping back down to two sets respectively and then with regard to the rest, your A and C routine and then your B and D routines are going to be a little bit different with regard to the rest. For your A's and C's in weeks 1, 2, 3, and 4, you're going to be resting 75 seconds, then dropping down to 60, 45, and then going back up to 75 seconds. And then for your B and D exercises, you're going to be resting for 60 seconds in week 1. Then in weeks 2, 3, and 4, you're going to be resting for 45, 30, and 60 seconds respectively. But that's it. Everything else is going to remain identical. Everything is performed the supersets so you have your a grouping your b your c and your d for your a exercises you're going to do the barbell back squat and you're going to be performing eight to ten repetitions using 75 percent of your one repetition maximum so whatever you could lift one repetition you want to pick 75 percent of that weight and you're going to perform it at a four zero one one tempo that means that you're going to lower down for four seconds and then you are immediately going to come up for one second and pause for one second at the top position then once you've done all of the repetitions and you've done all of your sets and all of the rest period you're going to move on to the face pulls again this is super setted you're going to be performing 10 to 12 repetitions using 70 70 percent of your one repetition maximum and you are going to be following a 3110 tempo that means that you are going to be releasing the weight for three seconds you're going to hold it in that lengthened position for one second and then you are going to pull for one second then once you've done all of your sets and repetitions you're going to move on to your b grouping for the b grouping your first exercise is going to be the dumbbell fly with a pronated grip you're going to perform six to eight repetitions Repetitions using 78% of your one repetition maximum and following a 4120 tempo. That means you're going to lower the weight for four seconds, you're going to pause for one second, and then you are going to lift it for two seconds. Once you've done all of your sets and you've all of the repetitions and you've rested the allotted time, you're going to move on to the supine leg lowering. You're going to perform eight to 10 repetitions using 75% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3010 tempo. That means you're going to be laying down on your back, you're going to lower your legs down to the ground for three seconds, and then come up for one second. Once you've done all of your sets, repetitions, and rest, then you're going to move on to the oblique crunch. This is going to be your C grouping, the first exercise in your C grouping, and you're going to be performing 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3010 tempo. That means you are going to crunch up for one second and then you are going to come back down for three seconds. Once you've done all your sets, repetitions, and rest, you're going to move on to the second exercise in the superset, which is going to be the dumbbell squat. You're going to perform 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum and following a 4020 tempo. 
that means you are going to lower down for four seconds and then immediately come back up for two seconds without resting at the top or bottom once you've done all of your sets repetitions and rest then you're going to move on to your last grouping of exercises your bar your back extension for the back extension 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum and following a 2020 tempo. That means you're lowering down for two seconds and then coming back up for two seconds. Once you've done all of your repetitions and you've rested the allotted time, then you move on to the second exercise in the grouping, which is going to be the L lateral raise. You're going to perform 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3110 tempo. So you're going to lower it down for three seconds, pause for one at the bottom, and then you're going to lift up for one second. Once you've done, all of your sets repetitions and rest then that is it for the workout and then next friday at two o'clock p.m i'm going to be uploading the exact same workout only it's going to be the day two and four workout that you are going to alternate this workout with so be out on the lookout for that next friday at two o'clock p.m if you guys have any questions at all with regard to anything that i discussed today go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so i can help you guys out but that's pretty much it for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like button so i know to keep making these types of videos in the future and if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet be sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell is i'm going to be uploading new videos every single day that's it for today's video thanks for tuning in and i will see you again tomorrow